Hello there. Hey guys. Uh, so I wanted to do something just a little different, something to kind of give you guys a few tips. Uh, I've gotten a lot of wonderful compliments on a lot of the voices I do for the channel here. And by far the one I get the most compliments on is my Obi-Wan Kenobi voice. And so I figured I'd just make this short little video, uh, show you guys how I do the voice and how maybe if you guys want to do some stuff for your own channel or you're interested in voice acting like I am, you can do that kind of Obi-Wan Kenobi voice. Uh, I based mine mostly off of James Arnold Taylor's Obi-Wan Kenobi voice from Star Wars The Clone Wars. And you can go and watch a video. It's on the channel uh, uh, Nerdist, I believe. It's uh, Rob Paulson's show Talking Tunes. And he does an interview with James Arnold Taylor where he talks about how he developed his take on Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, and I took a lot of those tips from what he said and kind of incorporated them into how I do the voice as well. And so I'm going to just give you guys a few tips here. So first thing, study up on the British accent. Obi-Wan does have a British accent, uh, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Uh, yeah, you don't, you don't have to be all proper British and everything with every word you say. You don't have to be uh, doing any of that. Your British doesn't have to be perfect, but it should be fairly spot on to how Obi-Wan talks. Uh, go and listen to clips of James Arnold Taylor or Ewan McGregor or even Alec Guinness. Uh, just clips of him talking in the films or in, in other Star Wars content like the TV shows. Listen to how they say certain words as Obi-Wan. Got a hair. Um, that was annoying. Listen to how they say different words as Obi-Wan and find certain phrases you like to say. A phrase that I really like and that kind of helps me get into the voice uh, is actually a voice clip from uh, Battlefront 2, the new one. And that line is, this is General Kenobi. I'm on site and moving to engage. So I'm going to be showing you how I work myself up to that by getting warmed up. So the first thing I do is try to find the timber in my voice that really fits with James Arnold Taylor. This is my normal speaking voice right here. But with my Obi-Wan voice, I bring it down a little bit deeper right right to about here. I put two fingers right here, and if I feel right about here, I've got the right timber, then I, then I know I'm, I'm good to go. Then what I do is I add the British accent. It helps when you're first learning this to really enunciate every word when you're doing the British accent. Listen to any British person talk. There's also videos that can help you learn a British accent. Um, and so what I do is I then start talking in the British accent. Now you can see it's starting to take the form of Obi-Wan Kenobi right here. But I'm not done yet. Because if I just say, this is General Kenobi, I'm on site and moving to engage. I have the general idea of the voice down so far. But it's not there yet because I need to add the inflections. If you listen to James Arnold Taylor uh, compared to Ewan McGregor, You'll notice that Ewan McGregor is a bit more subdued with his voice because it's live action. He's, he doesn't have to be as, as over the top, in a sense. Uh, but James Arnold Taylor adds a little bit more sarcastic, sassy flair that Obi-Wan's become famous for. Uh, and if you listen to his, his interview with Rob Paulson in Talking Tunes... He talks about how he incorporated a little bit of Ewan McGregor uh, and a little bit of Alec Guinness, but also added in some Ringo from the Beatles. So you can go and listen to some clips of Ringo. You notice he's got that kind of up and down kind of flair the, the way with the Beatles, all, all that kind of stuff. Uh, sorry, that was terrible. Um, but now if I take if I take this voice and I add in a little bit of the Ringo flair and a little bit of Ewan McGregor, and a little bit of Alec Guinness, then I've got the voice right here. So now if I take the line that I said before, this is General Kenobi, I'm on site and moving to engage, then I know that I have the voice down. But even still, 
I'm not 100% pleased with it just yet. So what do I do if I'm not pleased with it right off the bat? I keep practicing that line. I record it into my phone and play it back. Because what, what you're hearing in your head or when you're speaking and you're just saying something out loud, what you're hearing is not exactly how it sounds. If you record it, you'll hear exactly how you sound. So, well, I'm thinking this might sound pretty good right here. Who knows? When I put up this video, it might not sound how I want it to. So what I do is I keep practicing. This is General Kenobi. I'm on site and moving to engage. And I might think, mm, maybe that needs to be a little bit deeper. So, this is General Kenobi. I'm on site and moving to engage. Maybe that's not it either. A little bit higher, maybe. This is General Kenobi. I'm on site and moving to engage. And you can just play around with those different levels. Another great tip for doing Obi-Wan, just say his name as Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, Obi-Wan, you'll notice, doesn't exactly say Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's the very American or standard way of saying it. With o when Obi-Wan says his name, it's not Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's Obi-Wan Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. That Kenobi, especially. He doesn't pronounce the I. It's almost an A when he says Kenobi. Now, it's not Obi-Wan Kenobi. It's Kenobi. Obi-Wan Kenobi. So, practice these tips. Like I said, find that timber in your voice that you think works well for it. Then throw in the British accent, then throw in a little bit of the Ringo and the Ewan and the Alec Guinness, and then just practice, 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 and pretty soon you'll have Obi-Wan Kenobi down pat, I guarantee it. So if you guys like this content, then be sure to leave a like below, subscribe to the channel, and do be sure to hit that notification bell, and share this video on social media because it really does help out a lot. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on Concordia Jedi, and remember, the Force will be with you. Always.